I am right now going to speak in my business. Something that only involves certain parts. We're talking about something, guys. You can get there, clown. There we go. No. I'm talking about my baby. With her mouth so round. She's about four foot three. And her face is brown. I go creeping out her house. A long past midnight. She makes me feel so good. She makes me feel all right. And her name is G. L. O. R. Y. 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 G. L. O. R. Y. Ho. 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 Ho. That meeting that the city officials go, hey, you know what, let's get together and talk about sex. They got that guy in the back of the room, his name is Ben, he got elected because his dad knows somebody. He's like, oh, uh, uh, analingus? Uh, They're like, you know, analingus? Is that safe? I, I don't know. Safe? Let's ask our doctor. The doctor goes, no. Like, no. Uh, licking assholes is not, is, is not a good healthy thing to do. They're like, write that down. Write that down. What about consent? Do you gotta get it? <laughs> consent? Well, apparently... Yes, according to the New York City's health guidelines, rape is highly transmissive. So, if you're that kind of person... If you're a rapist... You gotta think now, you might get the COVID. You know what? Uh, I might Thank you, New to, York, for pointing away. that out. <laughs> I go walking down her street. I go walking in her door. I give the man some money. I drag my pants through the floor. She don't ask me no questions. She don't tell me no lies. She may not be what she is. She may be a guy, but her name is still G. L. O. R. Y. 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 G. L. O. R. Y. Ho. G. L. O. R. Y. Ho. Nobody singing up here. There ain't nobody here but me. All right, this is the song. Now, when the, when the, uh, now that it's, uh, in 1988, I was, um, I was in high school in New Jersey, but, uh, jerking John off five times a day to John Hughes. And now they got a couple, like, really tiny... If you were here, if you, if you were here, you were experiencing <laughs> chaos, mayhem, and the complete upturning of the earth, and I had no idea. But now, all of a sudden, such trouble has come, has risen. The monoculture, which has been preached against, is coming to its fruition. And once again, is being marked by, by, by outbreaks of lawlessness. So I went down to the... I went down to the demonstration. 
to get my fair share of abuse. So I did. I put on my uniform as requested by my ally friend. But, uh, Felt like a douchebag. Right. Oh, so, you know, I'm a douchebag. That's what I am. And I showed up, I listened to chants, and I watched the parade happen. What's going on there? Do we have any communists out there? They had to work. Keep your mouth shut. Good communists. Don't never say. They had to work. Uh, uh, do we have any? Uh, do we have any uh, freedom fighters out there? Anybody who wants to throw a Molotov cocktail? Don't. Don't put your hands down. Put your hands down. No, no, no. There's cameras everywhere. What are you crazy? But I went down there. I saw the mix of people that was there, and I saw that they were surrounded by police. But it was very friendly. It was a very friendly environment. And I was hanging out, and people were chanting and saying very powerful things. But at some point in time, the helicopter buzzed overhead. And once the helicopter buzzed overhead, it spread a sound throughout the land. And then about eight or nine vans circled where you were. And guys got out, and they got out, and they, I could see that the batons had come off the hips, and they were getting on the sticks. And I was like, all right, it's about to go down. Here it goes. But that's when I realized at that point in time that somewhere along the line, I dropped my wallet and my keys, and I was fucked. So I went home. Anyway, so hey. my first beating is still ahead of me, and I hope it never comes. But this song is about those friend our friendly fellas with sticks on their belts. This song is called Stick on My Hand. Sticking my hand so on Tuesday, sticking my hand on Wednesday, I hurt my hand, but on Thursday it was better again. Sticking my hand. Yeah, it's just people live. Coming up. Non-stop. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, yeah, streaming from your phone, right. Yeah. Uh, uh, I want to thank John Gabriel, Chris Iconicide, and uh, Flash. Uh, Chris, uh, Chris Flash. For not being here. For not being for, here. For being completely invisible to this And ineffective. Everybody. Here it's in cool. something. But making making this city. happen and all that and keeping this continuity because this is a place where free speech rules under this tree. And that's Good. letting what? go out for me. No, I said it exactly that. This is a song written by a friend of mine who's kind of a prophet. And uh, fun to do. Fun, a fun song to do in, in dark times. And I'm out of here. Down the hall, who's that sleeping underneath the saw? Fucking badly gets killed in the sun. Who's that people yeah. person in front of the in? Are you feeling fearless? Okay, let's begin right now. Write this down.
town now. Meet the letters in red. Are you walking? On your heels. Are you thinking? This cannot be real. Are you hearing knocking at the door? I'll tell you something that you can't ignore Right now Write this down Now Pretend you're dead Now Paint the town Twenty bucks for Shabba. I moved the camera from there to there so that you could walk from there to there come without going in front way. of the camera. Come back this way. And now people are walking in front of the camera. So come back this way so I can tell you what I want. She wants to speak to you. I want to tell you something. Jody. She wants you. So what? Get it. Get it. Get it. It's probably really important. Yep. But it doesn't matter. Okay. No, it's not black enough to matter. Huh? It's not black enough to matter. I don't care. Is there a problem? Yeah, because the thing is, is his thing is not working. We just had the other guy go over and say, get him, you know, it's not working. And it's not that. I'll take his guitar. Yay! Is this thing on? Testing one, two. All right, where was I? Lost. John, could you lift this up a little bit? 
Testing one two. Testing Okay, nice to be here today. My name's Larry. Thank you, Stu. Now, this song, this song I recently wrote about, this is my experience with the pandemic, and I, I hope you guys can relate to it a bit. I read a 
back to work sign. Don't want your public assistance. Guidelines for virus prevention. They seem to change on the fly. Confusion control. It's taking its toll. It's the season of no reason. That's why. Just a matter of
sun it got really windy. Right. 420 is all. Backstory to this song. This is the story of a couple. They break up and they try to get back together again. You know how that could go, Stuart. You see, from her perspective, he was lazy. He lacked motivation. He was unemployed. about her ex-boyfriends all day all night got so bad he started to hallucinate thinking he was seeing an electric tattoo advertising the names of all the men that she knew not at the foundation of all ways to build a relationship
written about all the fighting we're doing lately. You can't have a conversation, everything results in a fight. It's just like talking to the wall. Some space cause you've been talking Talking through it all and I've been talking Talking to the wall You have a different view on any given day And if you only knew the things I've yet to say Cause you've been getting underneath my skin You argue all the time And you claim it's just a label I mention dissension And you call it rabble rousing And the plate you swing to it But you think you're bad a thousand There's gotta be a better way for us to fail Then I turn around, see you frown And you vex it stare It's just another game for you It's never give and take Take a break cause you've been talking Talking through it all and I've been talking Talking to the wall I try to do some humor But too bad it's sad No laughs at all And then you go and spread a rumor We're just like Rome before the fall You tweet, the heat is on the beat boy Oh yes, I know it's time to lay low you're the master of the great divine I had enough of getting off this ride Talk to you later You got the wisdom of a song Just get the way I'm tired of talking As your hands go down and your hands go up You're getting in my face And you know I hate to interrupt But I, I think I need some space Cause you've been talking Talking through it all and I've been talking Talking to the wall It is not a two more. Phones off of the theaters. Well, you got to put, you got to say chair in the back. Yeah, the left. 
Exactly. Well, either way, I mean, you know, you can share it when you're done for the whole damn thing. Yeah, but you can turn it on and off. If you can see it on and off, yeah. Can, yeah. I don't know if I've been sharing it properly. Which one? Well, don't forget that? about me. How do I see my life? This song is called Don't Forget About Me. Who are you? No, no, that's the name of the song. Oh, that's right. Don't Forget About Me. Who are you? But don't Forget About Me. Who's that guy? I don't know, I have no idea. If I did something wrong, if I came off too strong, wouldn't be the first time, maybe two or three. Be clear from the start Forget about it all But don't forget about me The country is breaking Core values are shaking You can't pull away from that cable TV You're down and depressed It's getting worse and not less Forget about it all But don't forget about me Affections of hearts are not a bad mood in this body that was made just for you. I'll try to be just more steady and me. I'm gonna do the very best I can do. Facebook friends overrate you, their taunts irritate you. They can't debate you intelligently. Your love life's off track, it took a walk and come back. Forget about it all, but don't forget about me. Not a bad bone in this body that was made just for you. I'll try to be much more steady in me. I'm gonna do the very best I can do. If you have some thoughts of hesitation, if you do, I can never be made. It's a perfect way to go without adoration. Don't forget about me. Thank you. 
And this song is just for John. I had a, I had a hunch that they were legal, going to legalize marijuana, so I decided to sort of stay ahead of the curve and write an advertisement before it was time. It's nice to be here, it's nice to going back and doing shows. And another person walking in front of the camera. This whole COVID Sorry. situation she has the camera really, moved. really been hard. Sorry. And no, everybody's telling you different things, trying to educate you on different things. But if there's one thing that I learned from this pandemic, it is how to spell the word pandemic. <laughs> uh, Yay! Uh, should we also have a guitar scum? There we go, thank you. Uh, Try to do adult things, realizing after this serious situation that's going on. Uh, I decided I gotta do more adult things. So I decided to get health insurance and give up on my dreams. Uh, do this. It's tough to see doctors. Doctors just don't want to see you these days. Every time I call my primary and ask him to give me a prostate exam, he gives me the finger. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's uh, continue with that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, it's been tough. We all, uh, a lot of people are having financial hardships. And I've been there before many times in my life. Uh, the strongest story I remember was once being broke and hungry, going to my, uh, I thought I would go to a, my friend's restaurant. Maybe I could give me a discount on a meal. And I go there, I eat the meal, try to pay, and he said, Barack, your money is no good here. I said, thanks, John, that means a lot. And he said, Barack, I meant your credit card got declined. <laughs> it's weird, it's weird. Uh, the good thing about social distancing is that you don't have to go to social events that you don't want to be at. The last social event I remember that was weird was last Halloween. A friend of mine told me, Barack, go with me. Uh, she took me to uh, one of those murder mystery parties. And you know what it's like, right? You sit there for two hours and you try to figure out why the hell you agreed to go there. At some point I just told her, listen, uh, I just got a call from my cousins. My uncle died. The guy goes to his place, see what happened. He was murdered. She said, oh my God, that's okay. You can go. What happened? Who did it? I said, the butler. Then I jumped on my horse and carriage and left London. 
Not Holmes fans here? I understand. It's okay. Uh, well, this may sound like a fake story, but I'm not going to lie, fellas. I'm pretty good at telling the truth. Last week, uh, I met my friend, haven't seen her in a while, and she gave me a golden shower curtain. Very similar to a... Thank you. Very similar to a regular curtain, except it's not like the... Silence of the Lambs. Great movie. Bad name for a shawarma place. Listen, not trying to brag about how great I am. So I'm just gonna move on to the next joke. Uh, it wants a all... Uh, no, I didn't want to say that one. So like, that's it. Yeah, I didn't want to say that one. Alright, uh, I was uh, sitting with a friend watching a bunch of protesters and we saw two Jewish guys passing by and my friend asked me, how come uh, all these Jewish men were, uh, were uh, the skull cops, the yamakas? And I told her the truth, in Jewish tradition having a bald spot is shameful. <laughs> Not true, Not true, by the way. Uh, uh, should go like a Havana Gila. Thank you. He goes to all my shows and uh, make you know, jokes funny. Uh, like a laugh track. Yeah, exactly. He sells a laugh track, got a guitar song. But then she asked me, how come like this Jewish guy had a blue yarmulke and how come this one has a black one? And I said, well, this guy just started. This guy is advanced. This guy just stopped eating pork. This guy only sleeps with his wife through the sheets. And that's where I realized, I don't know how to spell Yamaka, you know. I thought it was YMCA for short, like those buildings. I always thought those were Jewish buildings. And then I checked online and it's actually Yarmulka. Not exactly the same. And that's where I realized Yamaka is the Jewish version of the Gabagoo. You say Gabagoo, but it's spelled Capicola. A really long stretch. I do like Judaism. Thank you, sir. What's your name, by the way? Steve. Give it up for Steve, first of all, for these awesome tunes. Uh, I do like Judaism, and not because it's my religion, it's because it's very efficient. Centuries ago, thousands of years ago, there was a bunch of different tribes believing all kinds of deities all over the place. And then Judaism came and divided them, sorry, combined them into one easy loan. I mean, God. Then Judaism came, sorry, then Christianity came, fucked up this joke. Christianity came, divided into three easy payments, I mean spirits. All right, I'll leave you with this before I go. I want to thank you all for uh, partially listening to this. This has been a lot of fun. It's the partial. It's the partial. Yeah, for the awesome musicians here. And I just want you guys to remember in these really tough times, these are really hard times for everybody. So I just hope you all remember, it's not how hard you fall, it's how fast you blame somebody else for it. I'm Barack Zid, thank you very much. Yay. Give me one more applause for Barack here. Come on, guys. Yay. All right. Starting to gather a crowd again. So I think you like him more than you like me. That hurts my feelings a little bit here. Hey, I just want to say that I remember when Tom, this is an anniversary show, I was there, the first anniversary. <laughs> it, it was uh, quite a time, it used to be the band show, that it was a lot of fun back then. So here's a song. Stephen Witt. She lives on the east side with her mom.
she was white and I loved her more than anything that a man could need. My, 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 my life Wow. 
fun, right? Let's see what else we got here. There was a, uh, another song back then. I got a, I can't really do the harmonica. It was the wrong key, but I... adjusted for inflation, right? Well, back in the day, you get loose joints. Trade bags. Yeah, tray bags, that's right, tray bags, I remember. I remember there was a lot of... Back when this was America! <laughs> back when this was America, and people were entrepreneurs, or government-controlled the marijuana joint. <laughs> well, let's see, one more. Second 
time. You almost kicked it over. Here we go. Watch where you go. Simple as that. section.
They were real. They really happened. Yeah. Wow. I worked on the block over there, but I didn't live. But the park was like, yeah, it was dangerous. Not like now. Not like Avenue C is Avenue Chic. And Avenue D is... My grandparents actually grew up in this neighborhood. My great, my grandpa lived on 7th Street, and my grandmother lived on the other side of the house. And she was on, um, oh man, Columbia Street. And my kids went to high school on Columbia Street. It just goes for full circle all the time. I'm telling you. I don't know how many native New Yorkers are here. How many native New Yorkers? That's it? You don't sound like a lot. I want to hear a quality crowd. How many native New Yorkers are here? I want to hear it. That's a little better. That's a little better. New Jersey, you count. How many New York and New Jersey people? Yes, you count. If you really do you want to be a New Yorker, you are so counted for. We'll count your happiness. Oh my god, I don't want to get that way, but you do have to send in your ups.
um, for anyone who has a skeleton in their closet.
know this song, so if you do, I would really hope that you would sing along the whole time. All you have to say is do 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 do. All right, that's all you have to do. Ready? Would you take a picture with my camera? Yeah, of course.
Thank you so much for having us. I'm Brew, Kentucky, and Donald. Thank you, Johnny, for organizing. Thank you, Pockets, for of course. It's all of you. What are you going to do? Who are you? Hey Johnny, you gonna announce me or something? Johnny fucking Wheeler! Hey everybody, I want you to give a big round of applause for Ronnie Wheeler for coming down here today. Yeah. 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 Thanks Johnny, thanks everybody. This you're is in the shot, man. On, um, on Worldwide Vibe Records, a single I have. Step one, step, so, no step aside, you're in the shot, man.
shot. I gotta switch the tuning real quick. You know, it's hard to say because things really have gotten worse since then. And uh, this song's going to bring a little hope. It's a short song. Who are you? I am Jezza. Ronnie's in Jezza and the Element. And this is a Tom Waits cover from an old slave. And this song goes to everyone who needs it. Jesus gonna be here. He's gonna be here soon. He's gonna cover us up with leaves with a blanket from the moon. With a promise and a vow and a love about for my brow. Jesus gonna be here. He's gonna be here soon. Well, I'm not gonna do nothing but wait here. I don't have to shout here. I got no reason. You're in the shot, man. 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 I'm gonna get myself a from this moral world. Jesus gonna be here. I gotta keep myself, keep myself faithful. You know that I've been so good, except for drinking. But he knew that I would. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna eat this place better. And the way that I found that it was Jesus gonna be here He gonna be here soon I said my Jesus gonna be here He gonna be here soon I said my Jesus gonna be here He gonna be here soon Thank you for coming out, guys. Thank you, everybody, for coming down.
to the 1988 Riot Memorial Concert. We are grateful to have you here. You're all tired of the bullshit. It's not just Black Lives Matter. Everybody is tired of the police brutality bullshit. And it starts there. So solidarity, Black Lives Matter. So solidarity in yourselves. Stand up for your rights. Don't suffer that mental injustice no more. Let's make a change. Fine, shine, higgle, piggle. Uh, got it. Oh, wait. It's uh, Ryan's justice. Yes, we have a mental justice. We're good, we're good, we're good. Mental injustice! Mental injustice! Mental Yeah. 
Damn. Subway surfing if you in the Bronx. Don't go to the Bronx on the subway. Where you at? Hot. Mm, talk about it. Hot and nasty. <laughs> All right, okay. Somebody surf it! One, two, three, four.
Because of the police brutality, we just tired of it, you know, beyond the 98, 88, 68, 1868, it's been the same.
all spells. Alright, Alright, listen to the powers that be.
That's a great guitar you have. What kind of guitar is that? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just playing. Yeah, what kind? I got plan B. I got the jacket. That's what I need. Yeah. This one's called Skeleton Crew. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. No problem. No problem. Yeah, smile. Yeah, smile. There you go, you're in the shot. Now you're in the shot. One side, you're right in shot. Thank you.
got one more for you. Thanks for coming out. Nice to see you all healthy. I hope everybody remains so. Thanks to Liz for letting me the guitar. So it's called Apocalypse Blues.
And here they come again. This is our blues song. Oh, hey, cop cars. In 75, we did that. <laughs> yeah, man, Astoria Park. I'm from Astoria. You ever go down on the rock with the meadow? This is almost by the, by the water. Yeah. Between the Triborough and the Hellgate. Yeah, yeah, good car. I did a lot. I lived there. I did smoke crack there. Smoke. When there was the real mess, when the real TAC, the green stuff, you'll never see that.
check. Oh, 
Go. Seven. How many you got? Yeah, give him a 10 minutes. Uh, give him right, maybe 10 folks, minutes more. He's on for like 10 minutes so far. Give him a break. We're a living in very troubled yeah, times. Yeah, What time is it? I have no idea what time it is. I'm just like trying to be nice. <laughs> it's now uh, 10 after 6. Surrealistic. Our brothers and sisters are living in. Yeah, okay. You got two. I wrote this song in the 90s about Hunter Clinton. Yeah, that's okay. I wrote this song in the 90s about concentration camps being built in the desert. Our desert. Can you wait? This is called heat sensor. Um, oh yeah, oh yeah. The pink, the pink part is going on. Uh, and then now. So we got two more pink now? Yeah. Alright, one song. Oh wait. Oh that's why the government's paid. Like what do we have the right to do or not? Shut the fuck up. Dude. How about the people that want to do what they want to do, just do it? But I've seen what I've seen. Go on, go on. Whatever I should do. Yeah, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Ladies and gentlemen, we're Magic Forest. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, everybody. Stay well.
Eat shit, live long, be happy. So she sees you when I sing. I tell the girl your eyes are getting old. You couldn't chill a mountain from a hole. Cause I can't feel a thing. No, I can't feel a thing. No, not even when I sing. Sold in our brain. Reunion. So this is a short little set to give you a preview of what's going to happen later on. 
tea kettle. What's in my heart as tea kettle? Make me so hot as tea kettle. What's in my heart as it make me so hot as it make me so hot? All my friends, they all do do me they not they. They all just you like the tea kettle. What's in my heart as tea kettle? Make me so hot as. called Shaking on YouTube. Once again, we are Pink Clouds, B-I-N-C-L-O-U-D-S. And you can find this song on YouTube with the giant F-Train puppet.
but we're going around with Tipper. We got merch over here. Thank you to Shadow for having us. Have a wonderful Shadow rest of the your festival. Don't just smile, you're in the shot. It's really great to be here, man. New York City! Now you're really in the shot. Moving All right. Into okay. the shot. Yeah. Reverb and compression as opposed to depression, because we had enough of that shit, let's face it. <laughs> yeah. Everybody reverberate! All right, I'm going to do some songs. And uh, my son, Jesse Skye, is in the audience. And when he gets brave enough to address the percussive element, and I hope he does, we'll have a real party here. This is a song dedicated to Monica Burrell. She was the broken ballerina murdered by the Tompkins Square Park butcher. She was only here for two years as a Martha Graham dance student on scholarship. She was murdered. And uh, it's a sad story. I don't want to get too gory about it, though, because we've got children here. So let's just yeah, keep it peaceful. Too. I caught you messing in my attic Like an addict on the prowl Tearing through my wardrobe Wearing nothing but a scowl Like a cocaine fiend on carpet patrol this relationship's out of control. To its toe, a lesson as I tiptoe onto the ominous stage. Your silence holds me hostage. A cheer of art, switch blade. My heart beats like a naked gun loaded up with rage. Turn me into Helen Killer when you locked my soul today. I'm your broken ballerina. How you doing? Haven't seen you. Every hero went so graceful. Now regarded as distasteful. I'm your broken ballerina. In my desolate arena. Oh, your love was unrequited I miss your kisses I really do miss you Unhook these eyelids from your splintery skies Rid my soul wide open till the sun and tears heal I then never put me down and watch me sing and dance me and look me up the side come on get inside now you're really interested. I guess you don't care about documenting the event you don't care about who organized the event here that's fine Ballet slippers on the brain The final curtains draw me Yeah, so your name is Salt John, right? Because he's the one who was going to show.
That's an insult to the event, insult the person who will pull the ballerina. How swiftly they forget. Every beat of your soul is free. That regard you get as you taste for a broken. He's already established himself as less than a human being. Unrequited.
actually played last year at Coney Island, baby. And um, he's in a few different rock bands, but now during this pandemic, he's, I said, Dan, boy, we gotta break it out. Let's do it, let's do it. All right, I got one more for you, I think. Because I know we have a curfew. We got a curfew. Okay, so we got a curtsy to the freaking curfew. That was the end. You keep pushing us back. That's all you're on. Alright, you're on there. Let me see. Well, I mean, no, I just want to find out because I don't know what I'm doing. You might have left. As soon as you're all afternoon, you might have left. You got to walk around and look for me. I don't know what's going on. No, I don't know what's going on. I'm on the ride. Ain't no denying this car crash. We are treasure. We are treasure. Thank you so much, everyone. God bless. Stay safe. Stay safe. Stay beautiful. Remain self-actualized at all costs, baby. You want to sit in? You can sit in if you like. And you're in the shot. And you're in the shot. Yeah, cool. I appreciate that. What's your name, man? Oh, so sorry, so sorry. Just yelling. I'd love to be sat in for this next one. It's kind of a little awkward. Are you into it? It's called Keep Your Baby on a Leash. Watch my dog run wild. Back in the shot again. Oh, shit. Sorry, man. No, I was here all day. Oh. Still don't see me. I don't know what's up.
safe and healthy, everybody. I love you. Thank you to Rigel, Johnny, Jody, and everybody. I'm going to shut the hell up now. Party on, dudes. Yeah. I can't First off, I hate to say it, but I don't trust you people. You gotta stay safe. Wrap <laughs> it!
told you all about chemical warfare. But oh, when I was 15 years old. Back to your play with your sisters, my little pony. Yo, 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 yo. Yes, we are back. Not that I need a mic, but it's good to have one. Thank you, Spike. Thank you, Spike, for life for stepping up to this. When the organizer, the real organizer of this event, skips out. He can't be found.
are getting tired. We're only up to the third song. Yay. Yeah, can anybody out there hear the horn section? We can't hear the horn section. We need more clock and spiel on the monitor. Okay, alright. Spike has convinced me that I need the microphone, so I will spare you when I will use the microphone. Yeah, I was going to tell you the secret. You're going to tell you the secret? Tell? So, everybody can hear me without the microphone. Okay, they want, they want the microphone. Okay, it's up to you, I will use the microphone. This one is a public service announcement for the Volunteer Human Extinction Movement. Thank you for not breeding. Anyway, 
I think so I think this is think more rights than an actual human being. So, uh, this one's a pro choice song, it's called Why I'm Under a Ball Jam. Let's 
Next up, I believe we're going to have some words of wisdom from a man who's got this, the history of this fucking city and this motherfucking blood. And anyone who needs to learn anything about where y'all motherfuckers came from, give a fucking listen to Eric Patrick Martin. <laughs> That didn't show anybody got all day. <laughs> Glad to be of service. Don't hurt the job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo. What's up? Two bombs and I'm gonna bust into a song. They be. This one's called Patrick the Panhandle. It's about an Irish rum, an Irish gypsy. A two right here. I'm one four in the morning in the year of the Lord, 1995. Patrick the Panhandle stepped onto a number, a crowded number one line. Patrick is a vagabond in the Western world. His cries of desperation fell on most of the deaf ears of black and Latino trap bangers. But his dramatic tone and cries of desperation told me. And West Coast accent told me stories of past our colored bungalow, bungalows, somewhat slaves with that iron roof, others with wrought iron fences, cobblestone streets, car parks, turned into illegal campsites. Teenagers huffing glue. His features told me stories more Mediterranean than Irish, with the stories of Spanish sailors, Puerto Galway Bay, Greeks, Phoenicians, and Egyptians before that, and sailors, horsemen, traders, and musicians. Uh, Patrick was also, um, so the real Irish, the big deaf face Irish, horrible history of colonialization, economic depression, and there's a servitude and brutality with the deaf, real faced Irish who call themselves the, the real Irish, and the Jippos, the plastic patties of the UK. You see kids laying around, what you do? The mixed race uh, of the uh, Maserat of Creole, of uh, Maserat. It took me back to my grand's kitchen where I could smell the chips assailing the breath that's boiling. Huh? No, what's that and it woke me up to the fact that both me and Patrick are marginalized people. A panhandler made me more proud to be Irish than to kiss me, I'm Irish, fuck me. Let's go celebrate a colonialized mentality parade. A heroin addict with the fucking line. My name is Patrick, I haven't worked in four weeks speech with his Zorro thin mustache, his Adidas jumpsuit, gold chain that he rocked, out of skin, and wavy black hair. He could have easily been a cousin or uncle of mine. If you had seen him standing in the dull queue or banging out there to the car park, you might not ask yourself of this Mick who's two shades dark in Hibernio English. But ye may not give it a second of thought. But to me, I knew exactly what he was. Somebody who existed in Irish society since the 17th century. As musicians, as artists, as migrant farmers. As the men who, who put the rice, who paved the roads. Boxers, musicians, and poets. Used car dealers, pod sharks, and fortune tellers. Patty brings me back to when I was a young boy and my mom and cousin would drink tea and smoke weed and, and tell fortunes in the kitchen. While religious, burners, religious candles burned in the background. To bring the family rally, it brought me back to my childhood when I played as the men from Johnny Ball who lived in the back behind us, who played tin whistle and was the ambience to my heart and soul as a child and my family. From the Cork, the family who lived, lived in Cork next door to us would fight and we hid them through the paper thin walls. As well as, uh, we are the Black Madonna, as well as Soda Bread. Stories of autos with gold, gold leaf. And our king from 1885 to 1985, Carlos Thomas, a two-way ruler. Right Patrick Pan, and we Patrick Pan. I'm going to take cigarette out, so I'm going to say something. Where do I go? I'm going to go. Patrick Pan, and we Fuck it. This one is 
Francisco Huska. Some nights I feel like a prostitute and my dispatcher a pimp. 20 to 30 people ride me a night. And I'm not always sure what their fetish is. Some see me as a therapist, some see me as a punching bag, some want to bed me, some want to rip me off. Others want to tip me really well for good service. I can't always tell their fetish from their face. Some haggle with me, others want to make love to me, others want to hate fuck me. Sometimes I clean the blood and they come out of my back seats. I feel I have a lot in common with New York City sanitation. I pick up sanit I pick up trash and drop it off. I hear Urdu, Farsi, Spanish, French Creole, Russian, Turkish, all in one night. I get hit from the daughter of a French tip diplomat in the back of my car while I'm riding down the FDR. I shoot dope and coke with fucking customers. I blast GBH as I haggle with customers on fares. I pick up everybody from the system Hispanics. I know all the cop spots, the cat houses, the card games. I'm part of every every party that lets out, every ethnic enclave. I see accidents and shootings as they happen. Pile up high on the smelly streets as the stench of the summer heat. I stop for a nash with God's people, or some chai with the Bengali, Beng, Bengali brothers. Flapush, flapush, Utica, Utica. I head to the pumps and I do it all over again the next day. Yeah, yeah. My baby is a prostitute. My baby wears high heel hoops. My baby is up and down the stroll. My baby is a fucking hoe. My baby is a prostitute. She's a methadone program queen. My baby's so obscene. My baby is a prostitute. Whoa. My baby is a prostitute. My baby is a prostitute. My baby is a prostitute. True story. You had to be there.
the shot. Now you're back in the shot. And 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 now you're back in the shot. You're right back in the shot. You're standing right in the shot. You're right back in the shot. And now you're right back standing in front of the camera, in front of the shot. Oh. 